go grab you some carrots come right back and I'm gonna show you how to take them up a thousand notches y'all bacon brown sugar glazed carrots let's go what is popping my YouTube fam so today on the menu I'm gonna show you guys an easy peasy quick side dish you guys we are going to make some glazed carrots okay T style though chef T style the Yaya's catering way okay so of course you just need some carrots if you have whole carrots great if you don't you can use these baby carrots this is what I had we're about to transfer these up a notch they're gonna be so good because at the end you guys I'm gonna sprinkle on some bacon so these are gonna be like sweet salty so good so I already went ahead so you guys I'm about to spray my carrots with a little bit of butter flavored spray let me show you let me show you let me show you you can you can use olive oil you know if you don't want to use the butter flavor spray so I'm gonna use the ugh, butter flavor cooking spray right here and I'm just going to spray my carrots I have uh, spray these up okay give them a nice shake okay boom this we just building up flavors right now y'all okay because we still go add more flavors to this so I already went ahead and cut up um, two pieces of bacon like this and I just rendered them off here's all the fat in the pan okay we are going to build our sauce off of this bacon fat because bacon fat is so good it's not good for you but it's good I'm sorry it's good so let's turn our fire back on I turned it off so that uh, grease wouldn't burn and okay so I have my burner on a medium you guys now we are going to go in with this is not even a, a half of an onion this is like just a portion of white onion you guys just a little bit probably a half of a half so that's like half of a half and I hope my camera is recording. I can't really even tell. I hope it's recording, guys. Okay, so we are going to get these onions nice and tender. And while these are getting nice and tender, I just want to take the time to say happy holidays to you all. Thank you so much to all my new subbies, my YouTube family. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for tuning in, watching my recipes. Um, I see a lot of you guys enjoyed the chicken breast recipe, which that was just an awesome feeling. I'm glad you guys, I'm glad your turkey came out great. Um, and I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. So I just appreciate you guys. If you are not subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Subscribe. But honestly, I do um, really appreciate you guys. And thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for your support. And remember, if it's anything that you guys want to see, want to see me cook, want to see me try to cook, just let me know down below. That's all you got to do. Let me know down below. Down below, in the comments, down below. So I hope, <clears throat> excuse me, I hope everybody is having a wonderful day. I hope everybody had a great Thanksgiving. My Thanksgiving was awesome. Pretty different this year, like everybody else, you know, didn't have the large family around, but it still was a great day. It really was. So, we are just rendering down these onions, y'all. Nothing too fun, nothing too fancy. We just cooking down onions. Then we go take it up a notch, okay? We gonna make our glaze for our carrots. It's gonna be bomb.com. We go toss them in that, we gonna toss that glaze on them carrots. We is gonna sprinkle some bacon on at the end. Let me tell y'all, bomb side dish, bomb. Is it the most healthiest? No, cause like I had said in my, one of my videos, I was like, who who eating healthy? Who check, who eating that healthy during thing? A lot of people is probably eating healthy during Thanksgiving, but 
I'm just saying, it's just not a good time to be worried about calories. Unless you just really have to. You know what I'm saying? So this recipe is really not for the dieters. <laughs> so you were warned. Okay, y'all. So we just dicing that up. Let me get this out because these green pieces is like driving me crazy. Hold on. Let me get a fork. Because I don't even know how y'all snuck in the game. In the game. Okay, get those out of there. Get them out of there. Get them out of there. Okay, y'all. We looking good. We are looking good. Okay, y'all, so let me just check and make sure my camera is rolling, and I'll be right back. All right, my YouTube fam, I just wanted to make sure my camera was rolling because I don't want to be sitting here just talking to myself, and y'all ain't about to see this bomb little concoction that I'm about to stir up so there's the onions y'all what comes next we are going to add six tablespoons of butter now I am not making as you have seen a large amount of carrots you know I'm just making a little half a pan just a little half a pan full so of course you want to um, use your amounts what I mean by that if you're cooking a large uh, for a large family you know or you're cooking a large amount of carrots of course you use more butter if you're cooking less than me of course you use less butter if you just like butter stick keep six tablespoons you know what I'm saying it's just like a, it's, it's do you but you have to go according to the amount of carrots you're making okay so here you go. See how that butter is melting nice and good. We got our so we got our bacon fat, right? We got our white onion, nice and sauteed, and now we have this delicious butter. What kind of butter is this? Unsalted butter. Okay. There go my oven. My oven is nice and ready for these carrots. Okay, so now you guys, the butter is just about melted so I'm gonna go in with about two tablespoons of honey One, two. okay two tablespoons of regular regular honey here you go honey there you go okay we are also gonna go in with this is probably about one-fourth cup of brown sugar all right there you go we are going to go in with probably a third cup almost of minced garlic there you go right I'm going to turn my fire down to low I get low 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 let's mix this all around careful so it doesn't spill everywhere okay See how that now we're gonna let this bubble up you guys we're gonna season it first but we're gonna let this bubble up and it's just gonna become this beautiful glaze and then you guys too you can skip the step of spraying the um, carrots you can skip that step I mean you know you don't have to spray your carrots with anything you don't have to coat them with olive oil it's just I just be doing too much you don't got to do that so Let's season up this glaze. Okay, this is this is kosher salt and coarse black pepper combined. Okay, a little bit of that. Okay, season to taste, you guys. I can't tell you how to season your food. We are using a little bit of Creole seasoning. Okay, I want these to have like a sweet, salty. I want that heat on there. Yes, just build up flavor. Of course, we are adding in some parsley for that beautiful green color. And um, green scallions would have been um, dope in this. Green scallions um, would have been really good. So that's parsley. This is chopped chives. Those have a good flavor to me. I like that flavor that those give off. 
I'm going to give this a nice stir again. Now would be the time if you want to add like some bourbon or you want to add some whiskey. Like now would be the time to add that. That's what I should have did. That would have been good, y'all. Okay. So now I'm just going to let this go. Not long at all, y'all. I'm just going to let it go to it bubbles up. It's already it's nice and thick. We got that glaze. Oh, my goodness. I'm going to give it a little taste. Put my finger. Oh, that is so good. Now, y'all, when you guys taste this, it's going to be, you could taste the saltiness from the bacon, the sweetness from the brown sugar, the sweetness from the honey. So it is sweet, but... Once you toss those carrots around and roast them carrots in this um, glaze, listen, everything is just going to marry together perfectly. And then not to mention, we are going to toss in some bacon after this. Listen, and the onions is offering its own flavor. This is, listen, let me tell you something. And if you don't like carrots, like here, if you don't like carrots, this is like a wonderful recipe idea that you can use right to spice up your carrots so now I'm going to put my carrots in okay I'll put my carrots in y'all regular carrots is what I had you know it's what I had and like I said you can use fresh carrots <coughs> excuse me you can use fresh carrots use what you have like I always say use what you got to get what shall I want? Look at this garlicky, oniony, sweet, bomb. And what I'm gonna try to do, y'all, is reserve a little bit of this glaze because I kind of want to throw my bacon back in the pan and like toss it in that glaze and then toss them over these carrots, you guys. So just, oh god, this, listen. And I'm not a big carrot eater. You know what I'm saying? I'm just really not. But listen, when you do them this way, you cannot, like, go wrong. You cannot. So, let me see. See, that's nice and coated. Oh, 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 my God. You know something just, you know it's going to be good. It just kind of make you just want to cry. Okay, y'all. So, 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 so. Here is our pan I'm gonna turn this fire off okay here is our pan okay regular pan aluminum pans during the holidays it's your it, it, they're your friend there's no other way to put it they are they should be your best friend it's, especially if you be in that kitchen throwing down there nobody got no time for no dishes so listen let's start spooning in our carrots right Oh my gosh. Mm. You can use a cookie sheet. Go right ahead. Does it matter to me? No. Really don't. I got my oven on 450. And you really don't want these mushy, y'all. You still want them to have a nice crunch. Okay? So I got my oven on 450. Okay? And what I'm also going to do, let's pour a little bit more of this, pour a little bit more of this glaze. A little bit more of this glaze over the top. See, it's glaze all at the bottom. Just get it nice and incorporated. It's okay. Lay them out. Okay. Now, you do want to have, what I would suggest, you do want to have room, though, you guys. You don't want to really super crowd your pan. You definitely want to have room. So I'm just going to grab some foil. Okay. And what I'm going to do, you guys, is cook this on 450 for about... Uh, I'm, I'm going to cook them on 450 for about 45 minutes. 
Then after 45 minutes, I'm going to take them out of the oven, take off that foil, and we are gonna roast those so they can get that nice, beautiful brown color. We're gonna roast them without the foil, you guys. So let's get our foil on. Right? Easy. Easy peasy. There's our pan. We're ready to pop these bad boys in the oven, y'all. Stay tuned. All right, my YouTube family. So my carrots are almost done. I put my carrots in the oven cover and I left them in there, you guys, for about uh, for about 40, 45 minutes. And then I um, cooked them uncovered. Um, still with the oven on 450 for about maybe 20 minutes and remember our reserved glaze remember our glaze that we reserved here is the um, reserved glaze you guys and what I did is also do you guys remember those um, uh, strips of bacon I added in the bacon to the glaze okay that is our bacon to the glaze. We are just trying to infuse that bacon within the glaze so we can have a nice flavorful topping when it is time to plate these bad boys. So I'm about to actually turn this fire off. Make sure this is focused for you guys. And this is our bacon. This is, and we're just gonna um, drizzle this on the top of our roasted carrots, you guys. So remember, it's just gonna be flavor on top of flavor. Um, of course, we roasted our carrots with with the glaze, and then we reserved some glaze here and um, to pour on top. So it's just gonna be bomb dot calm. Let me keep my ashy hands out there. My hands was too ashy to be all like bomb.com. All right, y'all. Stay tuned. All right, my YouTube fam. Here is the finished result. You know, I always got to give y'all up close and personal, of course. Now, you can feel free to disregard all of this glaze and and butter or you know all this right here at the end i want that when i scoop up a little carrots i want to scoop up a little glaze and also our um reserve bacon glaze you guys that's all at the top here's our carrots see how they are beautifully roasted beautifully roasted you guys so listen spice it up spice it up step out the box make you some bomb glazed carrots this way bomb 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 sorry see when i get i get excited see here's the thing you guys when i get excited i get a little carried away so i'm just gonna end the video by saying thank you guys so much for tuning in i appreciate you guys so 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 much why am I singing so much? I think because these carrots is making me happy. Because how can you go anytime you put bacon on something, it's excitement. Bacon equals excitement. So, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this um, video, this recipe idea. I hope that you try it. I thank you guys so much again for tuning in. Don't forget to stay safe and stay blessed. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next video. Mwah.